and that activity, talk to us a little bit about some of the practices that you put in place to develop your writerhood or, or what you wanted to become. I mean, you had the picture of what you wanted to be, but you mentioned that there was actions you needed to do to get there. What were some of those things you did? The first thing I did is I had to start calling myself a writer, which any writer will tell you is a very scary thing to do. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I meet writers, you know, writers, people who are writing blogs and books and doing great things with their words, and they go, I'm not a writer. And I'm like, well, what are you? A plumber? Like, <laughs> you know, you're one who writes. Uh, you're a writer. But I think there's a certain amount of prestige that we attach to that, or we, you know, we think you know, writers have to be authors, or, you know, you have to, like you said, there's a number, maybe it's 100,000 fans, or, you know, whatever it is, like, you have to arrive at a certain point before you can become this person that you were born to be. And the irony to that is until you actually own who you are, uh, you're not going to be able to do the things that you dream of doing. So for me, I had to start calling myself a writer, and that was a result of a conversation that I had with a friend where he asked me what my dream was, and I said it was to be a writer. And that was hard for me to admit, and then he just looked at me, and he knew that I was already writing, and he said, Jeff, you are a writer. You just need to write. And so I, I, the next thing that I did was I was calling myself a writer, and then people were like, oh, what do you write? And I was like, oh, like I need a good answer for this. You know, <laughs> the reality was I was so caught up in the identity or the lack thereof. I wasn't doing much writing, but I would dabble in it, right? And then once I started calling myself a writer, when people asked me at parties, I wouldn't say, oh, I work for a nonprofit. I would say, I'm a writer. And then if, I mean, without fail, people go, well, what do you write? And so I realized I needed to start practicing. So that's when I started this blog, which was my ninth blog. And I was <laughs> much more committed to the process this time. And I was willing to, like basically, the, I, was, I was willing to work two years without any sort of return before I would give it up. I said, I'm going to do this for two years before I expect any readers to show up. So I would, I called myself a writer. I started the blog. And I started practicing every day. I would get up at 5 AM. Uh, because that was the only free time that I had, really. I had a day job. I had a wife who didn't want me to disappear at night. So I would write from mm -hmm. 5 to 7 a.m. every morning. Usually I was writing that daily blog post, and I would publish a, a blog post once a day, and I did that for a year. And uh, those were some of the things that I, I did to get started. I called myself a writer. I started doing it. And as I did that, people started to show up, and there started to be some resonance with, with the audience. Uh, and so what I tell people is I called myself a writer, I started writing, and then I actually started to believe it once I saw that my work was resonating with people. So it's not that, like, you get the confidence and then you go do it. It's like you go do it and then you get the confidence. Yeah, and that's really, that's really different from what a lot of people think. Like, I hear so many people, and I I guess I believe this myself a lot before, too, is that, well, I'm not going to do it until I feel it, you know. I'm just going to wait until I have that feeling of, of yeah. whatever it is, and then I'll go do it, so. One of the things I hear, Ryan, is, is people say, well, I don't have the discipline to write every day, or, like, how do I get more discipline? And, yeah. and, and that, to me, is like saying, how do I get bigger muscles? Well, <laughs> like, I can't go lift weights every day because I'm out of shape. Well, uh, the way that you get into shape is you go lift those weights. And discipline, I think, is a creative muscle. It's a muscle. And so the more you practice discipline, I think it's a practice, the more discipline you have. So, you know, I'm not going to go to the gym and try to lift 500 pounds, uh, you know, not right off the bat. Uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to start lifting 5 pounds and 10 pounds and 20 pounds and, you know, and as I get stronger, I'll be able to do more. And the same thing's true with discipline. You might not be able to write for two hours every morning. When I first started, it was like 25, 30 minutes. But by the end of the year of turning that into a daily practice, yeah, I could sit down for two hours and sometimes write 2,000 more. Because I was growing that, that discipline muscle, stretching it a little bit further every day.